Wij gaan door met uh, hoofdstuk 4. The best policy. The best policy. Nou, ik ben benieuwd. Luca paused for a moment, catching his breath. He'd only just met Beck, and somehow he already managed to drag her into this mess. Hopefully he could make it up to her. But finding Rolo was his primary concern. Ja, precies. Waar is Rolo? Hier staat ook zo'n emmer. Ja. Yeah. Een emmer. Een ton. Looks old. Ik kan niet over die oes heen lopen. Dus de enige optie die ik heb, denk ik, is teruglopen. Ja. 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 Hé. Hey. Roxy en Fitz looked drained. It was clear they'd spent all day searching. Wat gebeurt? Roxy's temper could often be dismissed as the impatience of an older sibling. But this was the most intense Luca had ever seen her. Her eyes were wild and unfocused, looking straight through Luca. In a torrent of rambled words and tears, Luca broke down. Ah, kijk, we zijn eerlijk. Mm -hmm. Roxy, still exhausted and angry, softened briefly as her eyes hunted the ground in thought. With a determined sigh, she looked up at Luca. Ja, het is niet onze fout. Roxy drew mm. herself up. Roxy tried to think of the safest place to send Luca. Ah, de, de geheime bomen. Ja. Cheeks and gave a quick nod. Ja, we hebben de waarheid verteld. Alles goed. Looking into the puddle, Roxy rubbed her arms to warm up. Wait at the treehouse in case Rolo shows up. Oké. Eh, waar is dat ook alweer? Dan een boom. Dat weet ik niet meer. Ja, weet ik wel. Luca motion to the phone booth. Ah. Ja, ja. Dus een man vertelt verhaal. Muziek, ja, ik wou dat zeggen. Someone took him. Mr. Nuncree gently placed one of his substantial hands on Lucas' shoulder. Substantial hands. warmed a stern face there was a deeper emotion hiding beneath it all ah. it was subtle but luca could sense something eating away at him it's the only word that i have yeah there was a shame lurking behind those eyes a deep sadness if mr nuncreed was that worried about rollo maybe he could help Sheesh. Mr. Nuncreed raised an eyebrow. Luca 
tempted to take a step back, but 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 you but you hand clamped down on his shoulder. With a firm shove, Nuncreed manhandled Luca into the phone booth. What? The door latched shut with a mechanical hiss. And you? As Luca pounded the glass, the floor dropped from under his feet. The inside of the phone booth was now a loose capsule, plummeting at gravity's whim. Luca winced and pressed fall. his hands to the walls. As he braced for impact, the capsule hurried to a surprisingly smooth stop. He felt a cold rush of air and opened his eyes with hesitance. Two large figures in hazmat suits occluded his view. Uh. Luca heard the deep, resigned voice of Mr. Nuncreed over an intercom. He knows uh. too much. The end. Ah, Aha, we moeten weer een keuze aanpassen. <laughs> no, yeah. this isn't the end. I know there's still much more. Somehow this went wrong. Okay, let's try something else. Ja, we gaan weer naar de boom. Hier hebben we alleen yes. shame. Hier kunnen we nog strange yes, gebruiken. Strange. Ja, de rest hebben we ja. allemaal gebruikt. Ja, 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 ja. Dus dan gaan we terug naar deze. Ah. Strange. Well, time to bust out the strange. Wat gebeurt hier? Ja, dat is wel fijn dom zijn. The only sign of life being the twitch of an eye. Stop being a weirdo. At the sight of Iggy taunting back, something in Luca snapped. Iggy's smirk shifted to a look of shock as Luca launched himself into his stomach. What? I was in with some cold in the spill. Iggy's voice began to slur as he struggled to get up. Struggle? New word. Always? Up. Hmm. Up. The person at the warehouse. The strange ooze and what it did to Iggy. Was Rolo caught up in all of this? Who knows? That's a fine Rolo. Zegt he nu hetzelfde als we hier naartoe gaan? Ja. We moeten Rolo vinden. Hey. Net kwam hier die uh, die chickie en nu komt yeah. deze man. Rolo is terug. Ik geloof er niks van. Ik weet niet. Oh ja, we moesten thuis blijven. Ja. Yeah. Ja, dat gaat natuurlijk mis. Rolo was safe. Lekker hoor. A wave of relief washed over Luca, which was quickly replaced by a sense of dread. Gran is going to kill me. If he hurried, he might just make it home before sundown. Chapter 4. We waren al in chapter 4. <laughs> Ik ben in de war. Nee, nee, de, ik denk dat de uitkomst die we net hadden om in chapter 4 te komen. Oh ja. Dat dat degene is die ja, fout ja, was. En dat we nu een goede ja, chapter 4 ingaan. Gingerly opened the door. Gingerly opened the door. <laughs> Doe je ook wel eens, hè? Dat doe ik elke dag. Ja. <laughs> Grant? Oma? Oma is boos. Oma is verdwenen. Oma, misschien is oma nu vermist. Oh, maar ze ook niet in de tuin. Misschien is ze in bed.
Ik is niet in de koelkast. Nee. Oma? Deze deuren zijn nog steeds allebei op slot. Luca was Ze is ook niet alone. in bed. The house was empty. Oké. Okay. Hij gaat pissen. En hoe ook? <laughs> Sitting by the pond. <laughs> Dat is ook wel eens. Listening to small <laughs> waves slap against a rock. We hebben een droom, denk ik. In a folding chair in front of him. Mm. Without turning, he spoke. Why don't you grab me some nice bait? Sure thing, Dad. Luca hopped over to the tackle box and popped open the lid. Inside was a rolling, buzzing mass. We're fishing with bees? Luca's father gave a warm chuckle. Well, you catch more fish with bees than honey. Pick us out a good one. Luca closed his eyes and plucked out a bee. He could feel its wings struggle between his finger and thumb. Holding it at arm's length, he hurried over. His father deftly baited the hook and examined his work. Interesting choice. With a practiced flick of the wrist, the line buzzed in a graceful arc. The water accepted it without a splash or ripple. The wrong choice. But I respect it. The pond began to freeze over. Sometimes we gotta make the wrong choice before we can make it right. That uh, ontdekken wij ook in deze game. The propagated across yeah. the still surface with an alarming speed. Luca scrambled back as the ground beneath him turned cold. Dad, I don't understand. Sorry, kiddo. Understanding isn't always part of the deal. The relentless ice shot through the fishing line toward his father. Dad, look out! His father casually wound the reel. None of it's your fault, you know. Never was. Dad, we have to go! Luca grabbed his father's shoulders, trying to pull him away. Please, you have to run! The ice crackled as it spread across his father's hands. That's the thing about fishing, Luca. His chest began to crystallize. You toss your hook in, and you never know what you're gonna pull out. A shock of searing right. cold ran up Luca's arms. He gave one last desperate tug. The chair tipped backwards in a single frozen mass. Luca tried to stop the momentum, but it was too late. He watched the icy form of his father slam into the hard ground, shattering into a thousand Not pieces that crowded around his feet. Dad, yeah. I don't understand. What does all this mean? The gentle rustle of leaves was the only reply. The walkie-talkie. Yeah. yeah. Luca's eyes struggled to focus on the walkie-talkie. Rollo? Rollo had natuurlijk de andere walkie-talkie. Faintly, he could hear Rollo amongst the noise. Down here? Ah, eh. Rollo's voice was coming through more clearly now, but some words were still just static. Oh, yeah. Okay. Die moet ah, dus niet vertrouwen. Die is in on it, ja. Yeah. The signal went silent. Luca held still, waiting for a response. His pounding heartbeat marking the passage of time. Lolo's voice began to fade. Mission control, is die bomen? Ja. Yeah. Mm. Go to the treehouse. With that, the signal died for good. Ja, we moeten daarheen. Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and sprinted to the treehouse. Ja, midden in de nacht. En waar is oma? Dat is een hele goede vraag. Misschien is oma ook wel in on it. Oma, wat hey. doe jij hier? Oh, mensen. Eekhoornvader. En moeder. Denk ik. Huh? 
Mr. Tolliver paused, shifting his eyes to one side. Refuse. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Tolliver took one long, quiet breath. Operation Spark Plug. <laughs> the three shared a determined look. Maar die oma die heeft uh, kennis. En dubbele agenda's. Ja. En veel haar. Dat is letterlijk wat ik wilde zeggen. <laughs> Hé, hey, de vleermuis. Ga. Die ging op onderzoek uit, toch? Mm -hmm. Oren. Op tijd. Mm. Mm. Organize and determine. of a lifetime. Hmm. Wij gaan naar de boomhut. Ja. Yeah. Er zijn hier ook mensen buiten. S midden in de nacht. Ja. Yeah. Verdachte mensen. Ja. Yeah. Met gekke plannen. The two boys shared a mischievous grin. But change the sign. Okay. Mm. Uh, goed, hier moeten we heen. Hè? Misschien kunnen we nog vissen met wat uh, nieuw aas wat we gevonden hebben. Ja. Yeah. Kijk, het uh, zal wel voor een achievement zijn. Kijk. Kling, smack en struggle. Luca wrapped some tape around the hook. Hey, you never know. Precies, we gaan lekker vissen met alles. Vissen met alles. Misschien levert het ons wel loortjes op. Wat is dit? Een papiertje? Ja, een briefje of zo. Ah. Oké. Okay. Dit is relevant, denk ik. Het feit dat die Valentine, dat zijn die, uh, die, die rijke familie, mm -hmm. dat die dus niet uh, rechten hebben gekregen in de stad, is misschien een motief. Mm -hmm. Geef mij spullen. Bedelarmband. Oké, okay. we hebben nog één. Luca placed a sinker on the line. Sometimes the best stuff is at the bottom of the pond. Mm. So is it. We staan ook ergens anders nu. Fles met een brief erin. Oké. Oké, nou dat was alles wat we hadden. Dus dan vervolgen we onze weg naar de boomhut waar licht brandt. Mm, misschien is hij iemand anders in onze boomhut. Want, huh? Licht is gewoon aangebleven. De antenne moest er iets mee. 
Oh, de radio hier, denk ik. Ja. Kijk. Aha. Oh, eens. Er gebeurt iets in de raket. Luca could only see a cloaked shape behind the rocket. Wat? He strained to hear as a muffled voice began. Ja. Maar dat is dit is de die dude die in die huis was gevallen. Ja. Ja. Fear gripped Luca's throat. Luca stared at the ground for a moment, trying to place the dampened voice. The figure shifted slowly from behind the rocket, revealing itself to Luca. Iggy. Luca reached over empathetically. Iggy's tone jolted to dejected anger. Luca slumped to the ground, overwhelmed by guilt. They're after me, we. Yeah. Three hours isn't safe. The clipboards. What? Je lui met die vragenlijsten. Ah. Arboreal domicile. Yo, het zijn klonen. Ja. Wow. <laughs> Creepy. Het zijn er echt veel. He slumped to his knees. Run, bana tu. Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and headed for the window. Luca and Iggy F climbed F up F the back of the treehouse to its roof. Uh. Where Rolo had constructed his MCDC, the Mission Control Defense Cannon. Ah. From behind the crowd of clipboards, William Kerr strode forward. A warm smile on his face. Hij is de baas. Ja. Yeah. Faltered. 
Lucas grip tightened on the MCDC. Okay. Lucas' mind raced. He was caught in a trap. What do you do when there's no hope? Iggy wiped his cheeks with a sleeve. What are you gonna do, Luca? Ha! Ah, it's the only thing I have. Luca drew yeah. himself up and decided to up. take the only yeah. option they had left. He swung the mission control defense cannon around, aiming it confidently at the smirking face of William Kerr. Pew, pew. Luca summoned his most insolent demeanor. Good shot. Two boys. With a nonchalant wave of the End hand, dish. he made his exit. As the yeah. clipboards began yeah. to slowly advance on the treehouse, Luca looked to Iggy with resignation in his eyes. The end. Oh. Mm -hmm. That escalated quickly. Maybe discretion was the better part. We hadn't nog wel wat nieuwe woorden gevonden. Let's yeah. put a pin in this. For now. Here we fight. Here we shame. Here we have all gehad. Here we have struggle found. Yeah. Now we're going back. And then we're going to chapter 2. Yeah. It's just so overzichtelijk, hè? Yeah. Struggle. This is a story about struggle. Luca could hear a machine humming somewhere nearby. Now we're going back. He felt around yeah. wildly, searching for something, anything that could help. His hands found a hard object, maybe a tile. He yanked it free, lifting the cold stone. Oh, dan weten we hier Let iets wat we straks ook weten dat het twee is eigenlijk. Ja. Luca swung the tile as hard as he could at the shape that still held fast to his leg. Kijk, want hier werden we ontvoerd door die man. Ja. The crack of glass as the stone hit the assailant's mask. Bam. With a muffled yelp, the hand let go. Luca was free and scrambled to the door. He never looked back once on the long run home. En nu kunnen wij... Chapter 3. Chapter 3. Ah, dan begin je overnieuw. Ja, opnieuw. Opnieuw. <laughs> maar, op een, maar wel, we beginnen opnieuw op Met een andere manier. Dus ja. ik stel voor dat we hier een checkpoint van maken. Ja. En dat we dus nu op een andere manier ja. uh, in chapter 3 gaan beginnen. Dat is goed. Dus graag tot de volgende keer. Joejoe.